Well, now to one of the most talked about stories that you'll see today. Did you get to actually see the eclipse? We did here at the station. Here's part of our crew. Our, uh, everybody kind of looking up with those eclipse glasses on in the parking lot. We saw about 80% totality here in our area right around 315. While we stayed here at home, lots of other people, they packed up and headed out to get a different view, including our own chief meteorologist, Brad Panovich. Take a look. Trip to Ohio here to get the full view of eclipse in totality. Here's a look at the time lapse that he took. You can see the target there at the bottom of the screen, but while he was there, he actually ran into a family from Salisbury who made the drive as well. Like, yeah, like oh, it's just a once in a lifetime experience. I mean, the when it goes totally dark and just seeing the ring around the uh, shadow or the moon, and it's just a uh, a very unique experience. And I uh, I don't know. Once you've experienced it once, you you're going to definitely want to do it again. It really was fantastic too. We also got to take our talk to uh, some local folks who went to Waco for the solar event in Texas. The trip was organized by the Shield Museum from Gastonia and took travelers to the heart of totality. They tell us it was all very worth it. Each of us took maybe like one or two photos of totality, but really, I think we just enjoyed it. Um, you know, so our, our, our memories are worth a, a lifetime. Well, if you did miss it, don't worry. We've got you covered tonight at 830 on WCNC Plus. We're sharing highlights from today's total eclipse, including more from Brad and his experience in Ohio. Just take out your phone and scan the QR code on your screen to watch on your favorite streaming device.